the present video is uh, based on the solution to a problem of uh, gate 2013 and this problem is from the area of electromagnetics and uh, it's a case of oblique uh, incidence on a dielectric and uh, the present problem is a uh, bit uh, lengthy problem and uh, is of a little uh, complex nature uh, but uh, the solution to this problem give us uh, many underlying uh, concepts on plane wave propagation so the solution given here is a detailed solution so that uh, it uh, strengthens your uh, concepts in this area so that you can apply them to any given problem now we'll read out the problem a monochromatic plane wave of wavelength lambda is 600 micrometer is propagating in the direction as shown in the figure below EI, ER and ET denote the incident reflected and transmitted electric field vectors associated with the wave the corresponding figure is given we'll see about it uh, what we have to find here there are two questions linked answer type of questions here the first question is the angle of incidence theta i and the expression of e i are from any of these four options so we have to find theta i and the expression for e i that means the incident electric field the second part uh, of this problem or the second question of this uh, problem is that we have to determine the expression for ER and uh, we have to choose the uh, right option from all these uh, four options given here now uh, we will just try to see uh, the case here uh, this we find here this this is a dielectric boundary there is a one medium with epsilon r is equal to one that's basically free space and there is another medium with epsilon r of 4.5 and uh, uh, this is a corresponding uh, boundary for these two dielectrics ei and er are the incident and the reflected electric field component and it is obvious from the figure this EI, ER and ET they are in the plane of incidence when the electric field is in the plane of incidence it's a case of a parallel polarization okay and theta I and theta R are the incident and the reflected uh, incidence angle of incidence and the angle of reflection and the angle for the transmitted wave ET that angle is all known to us that's 9.2 degrees are given and uh, for the first question we have to find out the angle of incidence we have to find this theta i and the expression for ei what is the expression for ei so uh, we'll see the problem uh, the first problem here and try to see the solution in details uh, although this elaborate solution uh, may not be needed when when you actually solve the problem but uh, it is very important at this uh, point of time that uh, you should know that how this problem can be solved with a very clear understanding of it now uh, again we have always said EI is in the plane of incidence this is a case of parallel polarization here HI the magnetic field component is, is perpendicular to plane of incidence and, uh, and HI is uh, basically coming out of the paper here then only the E cross H the propagation of energy 
would be as per the direction for the incident wave. Now, we'll uh, try to write the uh, equation for EI, the incident uh, electric field, EI. EI basically will consist of two parts. One is the, uh, the this part would consist of the uh, field components in the plane of incidence and this part gives the direction of the wave propagation of the wave. So both these parts need to be evaluated and we'll see one by one. See this, the E0 is the field at the boundary. Now uh, you can see here that uh, the component of uh, EI, the component of EI, this is EI, this is angle theta I, since this is theta I, so cos theta I is in the positive x direction. So cos theta I AX and then Z component which is also in the plane of incidence, this will come to be sin theta I sin theta i az because since it is in the negative z direction so it is negative sign. Now this uh, part here this gives us the direction of the wave propagation. Now this uh, we can determine uh, by finding the uh, uh, angle of uh, these coordinate axis from the wave normal and it is basically the uh, the problem of uh, uh, finding the direction cosines they will give the direction of the wave being propagated in the media. Now uh, we can find here uh, the direction cosine cosine for uh, we can find with respect to uh, coordinate axis say x. What is the angle uh, which EI the incident uh, uh, the wave is traveling in this section direction and the normal to this is uh, at right angles with the wave front and the N that is the wave normal is in this direction. Then this wave normal is making angle of uh, uh, 90 minus theta. Why? Why it's making 90 minus theta? This is a wave normal acting angle, making the angle x. X. This is here x. If you extend here this wave normal, uh, this is the angle being made here. If I extend here, this is the angle that is theta i. So this is cos of uh, uh, x cos 90 minus theta i. So this is the angle is 90 minus cos of 90 minus theta i is the angle uh, uh, which is made uh, this angle with the 90 minus theta i. Then uh, the uh, from z axis the angle uh, which it makes is only because z axis this means only the angle theta i this the angle theta i so z cos theta i and the third one uh, that is uh, y as y axis making angle 90 degrees cos pi t, pi pi by 2 will make it 0 so this is the direction in which the wave is propagating you can make uh, simplification to this and now we use the snail's law that means uh, epsilon r1 sin theta i equal to under root epsilon r2 sin theta t. Uh, we know the value for uh, epsilon r1, epsilon r2, substitute 1, this 4.5, you get the value of theta i to be 45 degrees. That means this theta i, the angle of incidence is 45 degrees. And uh, we are also given the value for uh, lambda, the wavelength of the wave we can find the value for beta, that's 2 pi by lambda, 2 pi 6 and 10 power minus 6, this pi by 3 10 power 4, this is the value of beta. Now we can write this expression for EI, E naught cos 45 degrees minus x minus j pi by 3 10 power 4 and this. So this simplifies to this, that EI equals E0 by 
root 2 ax minus z to a minus j pi on and this is corresponding to the option c of uh, this problem okay now we'll see the other part where we have to find the value for er and uh, for parallel polarization the reflection coefficient value uh, is uh, given here uh, this is uh, given in all the books and this has been taken as such uh, so we can find the value for gamma the reflection coefficient which comes out to be 0.23 now you can find the value for er gamma is the reflection coefficient and uh, um, you can find the value for uh, er by uh, really finding uh, what are these components of uh, 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 the field electric field in the x direction x direction and what is corresponding to z direction so they come out with minus cos theta theta i ax minus sin theta i ax and similarly you can find the direction cosines uh, as indicated uh, earlier this is minus j beta x cos 90 minus theta i z cos pi minus theta i by making the substitutions here and simplifications we get a value 0.23 e0 by root 2 ax plus az and this so this uh, corresponds to option a in this uh, uh, problem uh, but the only difference here is uh, we get a, a negative sign and uh, this uh, sign is not given in uh, option A and I feel uh, this sign should have been there maybe. Thank you.